It's been six weeks, uh, lots of trial and error, learning everything from scratch, but it's finally the moment of truth. It's time to use the CNC to cut its own torsion box table. All right, so last week I cut the table with the CNC, finally, successfully. So this week, I gotta cut the tabs, uh, holding every individual piece in, uh, so I can extract the pieces. There should be about 10 per piece. I don't remember where they all are. Here's one. <laughs> Two, nine. Maybe that's it. I had enough overcut. Now the, the issue with that is that because I had to rig this table up on my garage floor, it's not very flat. The garage floor is actually very, uh, very unflat. <laughs> uh, so I had to set up two by threes underneath to try to compensate for some of these dips in the floor um so i think that's what's going on here where it's not as clean of a cut as i would have liked but it's not bad and you probably live with that so repeat uh for every piece find the table together Table assembled. It was a huge pain. Uh, I think my tolerances were really tight. I actually broke, partially broke, two of the uh, of the ribs, the uh, X axis ribs. But they didn't break entirely, so it's okay. Assemble the temporary table so I can get the bottom sheet attached to the bottom, top sheet attached to the top, and then this spoil board attached on top of that. And the table will be done, and then I'll have to move these rails over and probably 3D print some spacers. 
to get the width exactly the same and then reinstall everything. <laughs> so we'll see. I should probably remove the, uh, the bit because I destroyed a couple. I got the table extracted, got it pieced together. Um, went pretty smooth for the most part. Now I'm just trying to figure out a way to mount it to a wheeled base and make it so it can fold down. Otherwise it's gonna take up about the size of a queen size bed in my garage and that's not acceptable. As you can see, uh, it's looking pretty good. Just gotta finish putting the wheels on this cart. I have a plan um, to make it fold up uh, when it's not getting used. So the whole thing's about five feet wide and eight nine feet long it's gonna be 10 feet long with these with these rails uh, unless i decide to cut them down i'm not really sure if i want to though uh but this cart's two feet wide i think uh so the table should stand on its side when it's folded up and save me quite a bit of space all right, this is what I came up with. Uh, reinforced. So hopefully that'll hold. When it's not in use, I'll just fold it up and wheel it against the wall, I guess. Uh, now to attach all of that to this cart. So I think I'm ready to move the bottom skin onto the bottom of the table. Uh, I need to glue it up and then screw it in. Um, there's no reason that that should ever come off. Uh, so I want to make sure that it's on there strong and permanent. Now to do this by myself. That was a little bit tricky, but it's in. I'm gonna screw it all down. Okay. Oh my God, this thing is insanely heavy. It was one heck of a challenge, but ta-da! All right, this is what I came up with. Found these hinges on Amazon, super sturdy, not even that expensive. I can't remember how much they were, like 15 bucks maybe. All right, uh, 
got my locking pin. And then Alright, that's it. I just gotta take the rails, attach them here. Uh, I gotta figure out the spacing. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Um, the plan called for one of these on each side, but I think it's too much. I might have to 3D print some mounts to get it just right based on the size of my machine. But that's for another day. I'm exhausted. This has been like half a day process getting the rest of this done. But uh, yeah, came together pretty well. Pretty sturdy, very rigid, very flat at the piers. We'll see. <laughs>